Hey there guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video I want to talk about Nearby Share. And Nearby Share is kind of like AirDrop for Android, where you'll be able to share content between devices really quickly and easily. Uh, content being like pictures, videos, documents, that kind of thing. Um, and you can install it right now if you wanted to. So it's supposedly supported only on Google and Samsung devices at the current moment, but there is a way to try it out on your current phone if you want to. Now, there is no guarantee that it will work on your phone because as you can see, I have a bunch of phones here and only a couple of them actually worked with it. So I do wanna go ahead and show you how to install this and you can see if it'll work on your device. So here is the newest device of the bunch, and this is an LG Velvet. So Nearby Share is not enabled on this phone, and uh, I'll show you how the, the share sheet looks right now as it is. So when you go in the gallery, if you choose a photo and you hit the share icon, you get LG's proprietary sharing, which notifies me that the LG G5 is nearby which is one of the other devices I have here. So as you know, some manufacturers have their own proprietary sharing, uh, LG and Samsung being one of those. And you'll see that you have a couple of different options right here, uh, none of them being the nearby share. Now, once you install the, uh, once you install Google Play Services beta, that actually will just pop up. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that now. So there's a couple ways to actually get the Google Play Services beta. Uh, one of which is to go into your settings here, uh, look for apps, so under, under this phone, it's apps and notifications. You'll want to go ahead and go to your app info here and then scroll down the list until you see the Google Play services. Once you see Google Play services, go into that. And then if you go down to the bottom here, you should see app details. And what that'll do is it'll take you directly to the store. And as you can see, I do have the Google Play services beta already installed. And uh, if it is not already installed, you'll have a little box down here and see as you can see mine says you're a beta tester now if if you're not in the beta it will actually offer to enroll you in the beta from the app from the app information so if you do that you can enroll right there and then it just takes a moment and then it'll update the app for you now if for some reason you don't have that app details uh, section down at the bottom of your Google Play services app in your settings you can actually go into the Play Store itself you can go to the top of the hamburger menu right here just hit that, slide it over, go to My Apps and Games, and then go to the Installed section, look for the Google Play services, and then you can actually go into it and then enroll in the beta, uh, just like I showed you before. Now, if you're already enrolled in the beta, you can hit the beta section here, and you'll see that Google Play services is already there. So I already have it, and then um, I can go ahead and hit it Update. And then once it installs, you should get the Nearby Share enabled. All right, and if you wanna verify that it has installed, all you have to do is uh, either try to go into your gallery and then hit the share sheet here, and then you should see Nearby Share is now enabled on the phone. Another way to verify is to go into your Google settings under your settings. So if we go into settings and then we look for Google right here, you go into the Google settings and then you'll wanna look for device connections. Under device connections, you should now see Nearby Share. And if you wanna further go into that, you can actually go in and you can turn on your visibility right from there. If you don't do that, it's fine because if someone tries to send something to you, you do get a notification telling you to turn it on, which I'll show you in just a moment. So another thing that you have here is you have your uh, options right here. So you have your device name, device visibility, and the data and all that good stuff there. So you have your information about it right there. All right, now just to give you a quick sample of how it works, basically, if we wanted to say share a photo, all we'd have to do here is hit the share sheet, and then you'll see the nearby share right here. Just tap nearby share. It's going to bring up the share sheet for that. It's going to look for devices nearby. Now, as you can see, it says device nearby sharing. Tap to become visible. Now it shows that it is visible. And now you'll see that that phone is now showing. So all I have to do is tap the phone, and then you'll see a device is sharing. It will show the name of the JPEG. So now you can verify between the phones if you wanted to, and you can accept or decline. If I hit accept, it will go ahead and send, and we have a little progress bar around. Now it says it has confirmed that it is shared, and there you go. So now the image has been sent to the other phone. So you can do this with videos, documents, and all kinds of other stuff 
really simple and easy. Now, unfortunately, not all these devices actually got nearby share. So of these devices, the Galaxy S7 got it, the Moto G6, and then the LG Velvet. And if you wanted to verify, you can again go into the Google settings and you can see here. So the LG G5 did not get it. It only shows Android Auto, Cast, Media Controls, and Devices. And the same with the Galaxy S5. So that's not to say that it won't get it. It's just to say that although it has been enrolled in this beta, it is not available for these devices just yet. But it is worth a try. So if you have an Android phone and you want to see if Nearby Share works for you, uh, go ahead and try and install the Google Play Services beta. And uh, you may just have Nearby Share. So I think it is pretty awesome and it'll be really nice to use in the future here. So again, it works on Android 6 and up should work across all Android phones that have Google services installed. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this quick video. Um, if you did like this video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more like this, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video.